Hey folks, this is Rutzel 2021B, organised by Fruitstrike. Uh, I'm not streaming because I'm using an older laptop, which probably won't even record well. Uh, so I wanted to spare you most of the technological misery. Uh, okay, right, so blah, blah, blah. we're USA, that's most important because we have got defectors. We've got D-Star, which we can chuck if we get blockaded and we can space d -call. So getting purged is about the worst case scenario here, uh, which is a reason to use defectors, I guess. So 442 is good. Oh, come on. I, I don't want any of this stuff. I, bleh. Oh, well, we're, we're stuck with bleeding stupid announcement crap. Sorry about that. Um, thought I'd shut all that stuff off, but there we go. Uh, D called D style Korean NASA. Defectors Vietnam Arab Israeli. Well, holy smoke, red cards. How are you doing? We got the important one, though, which is defectors. That's going to make a lot of difference this this turn. Starting with Suez. So, it was trying to get me out of Israel. Oh, there's going to be so many extra clicks. Iran. Okay, so we counter coup with NATO. Yeah, yeah, DEFCON blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, so many clicks. Oh, when will this game end? So, counter coup Iran. Oh, what a load of rubbish. Oh, ugh. this is bad. And now we're in a bad way. Having to space decoy, we're going to have to use all of the other cards. Please miss. Oh, what a disaster. Well, we are now in a very bad way. So... All right, we'll take pray for a miss. It misses. That's a bonus. Well, next up is Korean War. While well, we're busy dicing with death, we can at least do Vietnam Revolts AR6. We're going to have to give up NASA and Space Decol. Oh, Asia drops. That's a bonus. We'll try getting off to space first, then. Way! NASA! 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 Uh, so what are we hoping? We're hoping to fade Middle East domination, although that'll just take them an op. And try and get into France ahead of de Gaulle causing it to flip. Okay, duck and cover off to space. Ross Cosmos don't do as well. So next up is the dicing with death on Korea. Hooray! It's all coming up, Millhouse. So next up, we have to give up NASA, which of course is annoying. We will pop the influence into Costa Rica for adjacency. Okay, that was somewhat inevitable. So, 
Yeah. As miserable as it is to give up another battleground, we're going to have to. Uh, although, oh, no, no, no. Actually, I'll put one in Thailand, because then I can overprotect Thailand against the China card as well. Gross, but necessary. With Arab-Israeli war gone, at least we know we can try and control for taking Israel, which will deny control of the Middle East, if nothing more. <clears throat> but yeah, Middle East is, is not good. Trying to, If we get de Gaulle trying to snag Europe domination will be very important. Okay. Why does it say place two influence when they've just triggered containment? That's weird. Uh... They gave us three, though. Right, we have to hope we don't get de Gaulle, I guess. We've got to play to the unscored region. Marshall plan plus de Gaulle in hand would be nice here. <clears throat> and instead we get both the scoring cards. Happy days. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Truman Doctrine, I guess. But we're in pretty bad shape here. And could get purged. <clears throat> so, we'll go Truman Doctrine to try and clear out West Germany and hope they don't have De Gaulle. No! <clears throat> we clear out France to force them to use a four op card. But I'm sure they will. Well, damn and blast. All right, we're going to Yeah, okay. This is probably not great, but we're going to hold them up on Europe domination and take Thailand in a bid to drop Europe scoring, still not a domination. Well, that's tragic. They take the coup. Wow, it's huge. We'll drop Middle East scoring, because that's really bad. And then hope they don't spend three ops in Europe as well. <clears throat> but this is all not good. Okay, they go off to space, so we will drop Europe scoring. Uh... Yeah, if they give us the China card. Well, no, actually, we'll blockade away D style. To overprotect Thailand. <coughs> I 
well, well, well. Okay, that could go could have gone worse for us. So we can drop Europe scoring. I keep forgetting these things. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. If we can get to Lao. Ross Cosmos are out the blocks now. So captured Nazi Special Relationship East Europe. Warsaw. Fifteen and nine, sixteen and ten, what have I missed? Oh US Japan went. And I've dropped Europe scoring. Yep. Um Blech. We'll take Lao. And I guess AR6, we tap France. We've always got Taiwan with Formosa in our back pocket. Very wise. So we instead go after East Germany. Yeah, 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 yeah. Asia scoring is nice. We've got no way to drop DEFCON. They've got CIA, but they're probably not too troubled about that. Fidel. NORAD. They've got Purge, which could be bad for us. So they've got five year, can ditch bad scoring card, but there aren't any CIA. Purge, Socialist Governments, Cambridge 5. Hmm. Purge or Socialist Government seems likely. And I got Redel, Asia, Special Relationship, and Comic Con. But that's nine cards. So what have I done wrong? Uh, oh yeah, I used independent reds. Doi. Uh, so I guess... What do we like here? Marshall plan? or sp No, special relationship NATO's not in effect. Marshall plan puts NATO into effect and denies Europe domination on the whole. So we'll headline Marshall plan. We get purged. So we might now get blockaded for good measure. Uh, Denmark or Finland? Denmark. Okay. So now we're in terrible shape uh, because we won't be able to easily fill but we get a coup at least. Oh, they had defectors, right. Um, so they picked up nuclear test ban and independent reds as well. At least we know we're not going to get blockaded. We will coup Libya in a bid to get back into the Middle East there. Oh, boom. Well, hey, guys, when you're going to coup and coup big, that'll do it.
Where we protect against the China card. That's fine. What card did I miss? Cambridge 5, Defectors. They've got Defectors. Right, going to be fighting this most of the way uphill with the Ops Disadvantage. Afghanistan and Burma. Fine, fine. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Well, <clears throat> I guess we uh, we force them to flip Lao Cambodia. Nakedly transparent here. We're going to have to give them two mil ops by using Arab-Israeli war, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... We can eventually get there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, seven. Yeah. With Indonesia and Philippines, we can slowly eke our way towards domination. Okay. So now we give up a, a mil op in VP. Actually, we want to eat, do Indonesia in case they decall us later. Miss. Yes. Ah, could have invented it. Well, you an intervention, Fidel, and force them to do something in Asia AR6 instead of something more creative. Uh, well, actually, they can't. I oh, know they have to use the China card, right? Which you know wouldn't be a bad thing for us. Great, so they go for space instead, and miss again, which is a bonus. I only have a scoring card, I don't you usually lecture me. Invested all of my heart and soul in that. And we're on to mid-war. We've managed to fade D, Colin, D style, so I guess we'll count it as a blessing. So maybe we're very slightly ahead of where we otherwise might be. And we got Del Grain Sales, which is nice. So... A year. John Paul. Of course, we have to watch out for Warsaw Pact, but there's some shenanigans in Europe we can do. A MIT may come in handy. But grain sales seems like the obvious headline. Doesn't it? Let's plug in my hand first. So John Paul, grain sales, a MIT. Nixon, EEU. And then red cards, cultural rev, Portuguese empire, Muslim rev, decol. Grain sales. They're going for muchos opos. Uh, man, do we... So, ABM flower power, we will bury you. Let's let's missile envy them. Just to make their AR1 bad. Let's just hope we don't get dealt arms race. I'm hoping to see a four op card here. 
flower power or we will bury you. Although, I don't know. So Brezhnev presumably is kicked in before Missile Envy, so all their three op cards are four op cards as well. Let's see what we get. This could backfire where we get a US card and they get the coup. But, oh, NATO, brilliant. Uh, oh, well. It's fun to experiment, and now they get a three-op coup, which makes me look a bit like a mug. On the other hand, at least Panama's where it is. So Libya? Oh, mm, went big. Okay, we've got decal. But nevertheless... Oh. They may have South African unrest, mightn't they? Let's put two in Angola and one in Mexico to cover liberation theology. That's as good as anything. We'll use Culture Revolution and then we may event Nixon to steal the China card. Got to fade Hunter and D style. Tough to face off I end A. Uh, that's dropping for a point, no problem. Ah, the old spear attempt, eh? Well, I'm going to take Colombia because I've got more access to. I've got more access to uh, African battlegrounds. Unfortunately, this is going to descend into a coup war. And it's going to be a big coup war. Oh, booger. Well, that's South America in trouble. With Warsaw Pact gone, we can now vent John Paul, though, which is nice. Tempted to use Muslim Rev for the Ops and play into Israel and Zaire. Komsa. But we don't need to do that right now. <clears throat> What's first? I think we want to event Amit to sift out some bad cards, including scoring cards. So we'll first space decal and fail. <laughs> Right, now we're in trouble pretty much all over the board. Mm -hmm. Let's event emit. Uh, we do get rid of a lot of red cards, and we probably want to get rid of salt as well, actually. So we will bury you, Willie, Lone Gunman, and Suez, and Salt. Drop out the deck. One small step was used last turn. And everything is fine on the tracker. So let's go with that. We really, really badly need Hunter now. South America is staring down the barrel of control now. I want to event Nixon. Ross Cosmos doing the job. We'll do that now, now that Culture Revolution has been played. 
forcing them to play both their cards to finish the turn. Nuclear subs off to space, doesn't want a piece of that. And they're headline peaking as well. Well, that's splendid. Uh, no, we don't want to do that, do we? We really don't want to do that. Not right now. We'll do that instead. And their last card's five-year plan, so they won't be able to ditch anything. But they've got Buku Ops, and we'll event John Paul into Poland. Having seen Warsaw Pact go. Then touch wood, we might be able to do something about Europe. Because they won't... With um, We Will Bury You Gone, they're unlikely to be in a position where they can drop DEFCON and deal with Poland. So they either have to deal with Poland or give up the coup on Venezuela. Slash Brazil. So we might... Might get him here. Korgmar would be the worst case scenario, I guess. Four lavish ops for five-year plan. Yep. Seems fairly standard. But we will. With the fourth go, Nigeria, of course. Yep. So now we event John Paul and create a bit of havoc for them in the headline and AR1 phase. Okay, rattling through it. Boom, 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 boom. So, <laughs> Ew. colonial rear guards will frig up Africa nicely. So it could be worse. If we can get Africa domination, then giving up South America's bad but not total disaster. Arms race alliance, and the ninth card is South African unrest. Good. So we've got the keys to South Africa. Yeah, I think we go colonial rear guards. They're going to see that, so they have a chance to adjust their behavior. But I think we're okay with that. I guess what we're not okay with is being quagmired. Oi, that's a, another nice scoring card. So we'll rip up Africa. Although we'll do that. Yeah. Influence. Okay. So we will coup Nigeria. Mm, the downside of Saharan states is, of course, Chino has a valid target, so I probably, probably did that wrong. But we were unlikely to hold off Milops forever. We are going to want to snag the VP from Arms Race and get Africa domination. As, as well as eating South America scoring, of course. Which we will be, and how. So arms race VP first. They have probably got OPEC from the play after Middle East scoring. Europe scoring drops for one. That's could be worse. Could have been better.
So we now give up Milops in Saharan states. We're going to snag Mexico, just so we have presence in Central America. And we'll go one, two, three. So we guarantee domination in Africa. Yasuri, fine. We'll drop Africa scoring now. Will we drop South America scoring now? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll drop South America scoring first before it gets any worse. Because <laughs> they can either space or OPEC, but they can't do both. And then next is Africa scoring. Bonus. Let's drop Africa scoring now before it gets any worse. Okay. And we space South African unrest. Start to edge closer. Ooh. Uh, we'll take Argentina. Because we want access. And we've got time to take Paraguay. So what we're going to do is we'll pop two in South Africa and be prepared to realign Angola if needs be. Really need those power cards here. ABM, Cuban Missile Crisis, Bear Trap. Nice. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, let's plug my hand in before we do anything else. Should be on 40 discarded, 24 removed. Oh, get this stupid banner out of the way. Good. Okay, right. So plug the hands in. Bear Trap, Quag, OPEC. They've got Liberation Theology. We got Ask Not, which we'll try and hold to the next hand. They're probably going to put Voice of America in the trap. But we may get a couple of... Didn't get Brush War. How I learned. Don't know. Yeah. Uh, so we can either Bear Trap them AR7 for next turn. We don't want to play How I Learned to Drop Defcon because they can just fill Angola, I suppose. I think Bear Trap's probably still best. Although we've got loads we want to space. OPEC, Quagmire. A self-quag might be on to try and reduce VPs, but that's not nice. Ooh, ABM on Brazil is nice, I guess. Or at least we could take a straight coup. Bear trap, because then we could take a straight coup and ABM. Double coups. Even if you're happy to ditch a Voice of America, Camp David and Shuttle Diplomacy. Oh, Hunter. Well, that's brutal. But fails on the coup. That's good for us. Hunter, and did Voice of America go in the trap? Yeah, straight out. To be expected. 
with no war cards, we'll go one, two, three. The board's getting to the point where we might be able to use D star for ops without giving up a great deal. I guess we want to take Cuba first. OPEX worth 3 VP, which is still more than we want to pay for it. But we could tap Libya and take Egypt to reduce it to 2. Just getting into the realm of acceptability. Okay. That's good for us. We'll do that. Not not very happy with that, but it now means we can space Quagmire and we don't need to worry about hold cards. Are we going to see a brush war on somewhere? Argentina would be bad. Ooh, real bad. I think they'd have played it by now if they had it. Okay. We're going to shore up some brush war targets. I don't want Italy to flip as well, because we could end up in a real bad way in Europe. Is that fine? That's fine. We've got ABM. Uh, puppet governments. We can go Saudi. Cuba, even though it's adjacent. And Peru. They get the 3 VP. So we space Quagmire now. Because we don't want them to... Oh, they can't space again. Hmm. Let's puppet governments first. And we're going to go... Saudi, threaten the realign in Peru. And pop one in Cuba, I guess? <laughs> yeah. Even though it's adjacent, one in Cuba is fine. Yeah. Fears the realign. Getting him to dump three into an on battleground still feels like a bit of a victory for me. Five, six, seven. If I'm going to hold. <laughs> yeah, if I'm going to hold, ask not. I actually need to space cork my and use D style. So, ABM Treaty Brazil is the biggest swing, assuming we can fill Saudi. I mean, that's fun, but not material. So, big ass coup on Brazil here, please. Big coup. Yeah. Thank you. Brush war, Indo Pakistani war. Camp David's the only blue card left in the deck. Uruguay? Oh, okay. 
Yeah, okay. So we will destyle and we'll go to Cuba. One Guatemala to set up domination and also give them a bit of a hard time. So they can go Nicaragua, Haiti, and Fidel could come back in the reshuffle. But we've got asked not. And we may even be able to level up on Saudi. So Brush War is the key card. I mean, genuinely the key card in the deck, because we could brush on Censure, Panama for control if we get it. We'd love to be dealt Liberation and Theology and, and Brush War in the reshuffle. So despite being at minus 12, the game's not totally out of contention. But there's still a lot of work to be done. Yep. Okay. That's all fairly understandable. We got brush, but we didn't get liberation theology. So they got Camp David, Summit, and liberation theology. Uh, we can't headline duck and cover. But NATO's in play. So special relationship is good. Is nuclear subs good? Do we start with brush war? It, it's either brush war or nuclear subs. We might be able to ditch these scoring cards in each and hold on to us not through another turn. So, let's go Brush War. Nuclear subs, nuclear subs, nuclear subs, nuclear subs. Uh, I suppose we may get, if they do Headline Liberation Theology, if they don't coup, we can event Duck and Cover. I guess the question is how many coups we're having. One, two. Every other card we kind of want to event. So Nuclear Subs isn't doing a ton of work. We'll go Brush War. That may not be right, but they know we hold it. And let's see if they got a better card than Liberation Theology. We just have to really, really hope they didn't get Del Fidel. Yep. Oh, yes. Give up two VPs for flower power. That's annoying. But we'll go for it. And we succeed. That's nice. Two Mexico, one Cuba.
Oh no, covers for covers for realign. And goes influence instead, eh? Hmm. Okay. We will uh, we use Eastern European Unrest to get a proper coup in on it. Oh, ouch. Not enough, though. So we will take the core Mexico. Please be good. Please, 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 please. <laughs> uh, that was nasty. <laughs> Ah. Uh. Going for Guatemala. Okay. We'll have our plus one realign while we still hold it. Two time. Please be good. Ah. Uh. <sighs> so Central America will be zero VP after all that effort. That probably swings the game because we now are in a bad way all over the board. Europe scoring goes for one. Middle East scoring doesn't end the game. So we'll special relationship AR7. We need to play into Cote d'Ivoire because there's no reason to assume that their real lines won't be so bad. So we know they're holding Camp David, but otherwise know nothing. Uh, yep. So Camp David or the other card. Ooh, ouch. 3 BP off victory. Okay, late war time. We need to get war games and a miracle. We can leave them with a lot of DEFCON droppers. Uh, Asia scoring's in our favour too. And we got We Will Bury You at least. Start with Missile MV. And we've still got Voice of America in our back pocket. With Middle East scoring in the deck, there's a way to us to lose in the headline. But I think we have to take the gamble. Give us a card. But we are staring down the barrel of it. Uh, Cal would be great. ABM, fine. War Games, fine, because it takes out their hands. And then Glasnost and Muslim Revolution give us something to do. If we get a coup, I guess we have to coup Libya. Uh, 
next one's not a scoring space at least. I think we're holding us not through turn nine if we make it that far. <sighs> but yeah. <laughs> not been great. It has at least been quick. <laughs> so we've got that going for us. Right, we've got... Uh, oh, yeah, that's nasty. I can see why he wouldn't want to give that up. And we instead get Shutter Diplomacy, which will be good for Asia scoring. Goes for the coup. Misses. Well, now. We can drop Asia scoring. And if they do anything in Zaya, we can use Voice of America. But we still have the marginal upper hand there. Ooh, this game would have been significantly better had we uh, controlled Central America, albeit briefly. Well, no war games at least. We take France. Mm -hmm. I guess we want to still compete in the Middle East. So we'll fill in there. Okay. Ah, yes, that makes sense. Let's take a uh, not quite big enough coup. We get DEFCON down, but they're going to get OPEC. But for slightly less. But with the 3VP we're going to give up, is that enough to end the game, actually? If it is... I was pretty much always behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighteen. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see if he gets greedy, because if he doesn't, does get greedy. I may be able to VOA some of the hard work and and set him back at least a turn. But I'm scraping the barrel. Thatcher the Betrayer.
That's bad for me. So I'm going to have to use one of those. I think I want to do Venezuela rather than Iraq, actually. Although that does trigger SOCGov, so actually, you know, it works out alright for us in a way. In a way, we've snagged another three op card here. Camp David still in their hand? Let's tap France. We can keep the pressure on in Europe. While well, they're sniffing around OPEC points. A VP for a VP? Okay, and we can tap Venezuela, and then they're only getting three VP from OPEC. Although Iran Contra might have been the wrong choice there, because they may try and take a real line now. Should use defectors. Oh wow, that's a power card to finish a turn. Oh wow. Well, I guess we tap. Iran, so Middle East doesn't dominate. Yeah. It's not great, but... Well, survived to turn nine. That's kind of a miracle. Now might be time to... We might just get arse knotted into a even bunch of even worse hands, mind. Hmm. We've got no war cards, so an evil empire is not spectacular. I think we just ask not. If we get dealt like lone gunman and a bunch of crap cards, so be it. But we can't run Iranian Suez Quagmire. And marine barracks? Comfortably? Not at all. So, we're going to... Yeah. and we, we might ditch our entire hand. We'll keep an evil empire. But even a US 2-op card is rubbish. So, let's just ditch the lot. Let's have fun. Oh, well. Independent Reds. Arab-Israeli War. Marine barracks bombing. Korkmai Suez. Iranian hostage crisis. And Star Wars. We're now not going to get DEFCON. Now, one small step is... 
You know, even if we one small step, they can space scale us. We're going to ditch Star Wars. We're going to work on the assumption we'll never catch them in space. Give me all of the new cards. Solidarity and tear down this wall. Pretty nice. If they've got war games, we lose. Ooh, yeah. Got got war games? Whoa, zoom out. Yeah. Right, I lose to Pavel again, but it was a good fun game and a nice quick one. So thanks for watching. Let me know how I could have played differently, and I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.